Hi, this is Clayton Skinner. Hi, I'm Clayton Skinner. My name is Clayton Skinner. My name is Clayton Skinner. Welcome back to Beyond the Beat. Welcome back to Beyond the Beat. Welcome to Beyond the Beat. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Beyond the Beat. This episode is going to be part two of my Fun with Hertus series. Uh, only this time, we're going to be doing it with our feet. And everything's going to be linked to the right hand. So it'll follow the same concept as the last ep episode where we did it with our hands. And I showed you how to recover using your right hand. I showed you how to recover uh, from hertas. So doing a single herta and how it would shift your hands into playing the opposite way. So now you're leading with your left. And then how to recover from that and recover using a right-handed herta. Uh, so that's what I did in the last episode. In this episode, we're going to do the same thing. Only well, this time we're going to use our feet. And we're going to apply it to beats, and it's going to be fun. So let's get started. So all the hertas and single strokes in this uh, lesson are going to be the same patterns that we learned in the last lesson. So if you can't do it there, don't try it here. Uh, make sure you learn it with your hands before you try to apply it with your feet. Um, another thing is, is you may want to try to apply it with just your feet, and then add your right hand or you add your cymbal hand and then add your snare. Now I kept it simple, eighth notes on the ride or X hat or hi hat or whatever, two and four on the snare. So it's just a basic, basic beat, only you're going to be playing hertas underneath it and you're going to be recovering from the opposite way. So anyway, exercise one, we're going to put the herta on two and then the herta will go again on the E of four. That will be the recovery herta. Again, you can put it wherever you want as a recovery. Uh, you can really just do it wherever you want. Anyway. Exercise two, we're going to be starting with the hair to right off the gate. So because of this, uh, right away, your feet are going to be shifted to the left. Um, this might be a kind of a side note, but you may want to practice playing uh, a double bass roll, single stroke roll, while leading with your left foot. This will actually help because you're going to be doing it in these exercises. So, funny I mentioned it on exercise two. But anyway, yes, we have a hair to on one. And then we have a hit again on the E of three. Yes, that is correct. The E of three. So, again, make sure that you work on this without any hands. You can even use your hands on your floor tone, on your snare to, got, to brace you for balance and practice, using a metronome, practice this specific pattern. Again, the is on one and then the E of three. So that would be the recovery we're here to. So here. I'll give you an ex or I'll give you a demonstration of it. Exercise three, two heritages in a row, uh, two odds, make an even, so you're not actually shifting with this one. This one was just fun because you can just add them wherever you want. Um, have fun with it. I don't know. So exercise four, we're going to be doing it three times in a row. Now, if you remember the dilemma from the last episode, uh, there's only one place to put the recovery herta, and that is on the A of three. Um, the thing is with this one, though, is because it's a beat, uh, unless you're playing double bass in the next bar, you could actually just ride it out, just play with your left foot leading, and then recover from it and go back into whatever beat you're playing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, for the sake of the exercise, though, it recovers on the A of three. So give it a try. Remember, Feet only, add your hands when you're comfortable. Use a metronome.
So just like I said before, and like I say all the time, metronome, metronome, metronome. Uh, make sure that the pulse is on one, because it'll make the whole thing easier to count. It'll make it easier for you to count and understand when and how long each bar is. It's very easy to lose your count when you're playing heritage with your feet. Not just with your hands, but with your feet. You're adding a completely different, um, you're adding a completely different element. So make sure that you use a metronome so that you understand this. Good. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time. Uh, if you have any comments, you know how to get a hold of me right here on YouTube, ClintonSkinner.com. Uh, you can uh, catch me on Facebook, Facebook.com slash or ClintonSkinner.com, or Twitter.com slash ClintonSkinner. So anyway, hope to hear from you. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you later.